Today I'd like to show you how easy it is to do a SOAP to REST transformation using the Axway API management solution. We are specifically using the Policy Studio and the API Gateway for this demo. Okay, so what are we trying to achieve? If we look to the very right of this diagram, we see a web service host. This could be your SOAP, your ESB backend that speaks XML, that typically exposes a whistle. On the left-hand side, we have a user agent, so the API consumer, who is typically interested in getting HTTP JSON. So what we would like to do is have the API gateway uh, take in the request from the user, construct a SOAP message, throw it against the backend, take the response, extract the data, uh, convert it into JSON, and put it back to the client. So you can see that on my local machine, I have a SOAP service running that exposes a whistle. Let's go to SOAP UI and import the whistle. We create a new project and call it SOAP service. And we import the whistle. And you'll see that if we trigger a request against this service, that each time the response is slightly different. So it's a dynamic backend. We can now go to Policy Studio and create a new policy. We call it SOAP to REST, and this opens a canvas, which is empty. We go to the right side and drag in the controls that we want to have. So as a first step, we are going to execute a POST request, so we are setting the HTTP verb. I'm setting this as a start. So this is the first thing that we execute. And um, as a second step, we want to construct the SOAP envelope. So I'm going to call this construct SOAP message. The content type is going to be application SOAP XML. And in the message body, we are simply copying in the message that we got uh, from SOAP UI. I'm connecting this up. So we have the two steps already. As the next step, we are already connecting to the backend. So in this case, the only thing that I have to do, so let's give this a good name, call it perform SOAP request. And now we are making it very simple, and we simply uh, add the backend URL. Yes. OK, finish. Again, we'll connect this as the next step, the happy path. And now we are doing the uh, XML to JSON conversion. You just drag it in. and. Accept the defaults. There is nothing you have to do to do the conversion. Just click Finish. And as a final step, we want to throw the message, uh, the response, back to the client uh, with the 200 success code. So the only thing left to do is to really uh, connect the controls again. And we're done. So let's expose it. For this, we go to the, the default services, and we create a new virtual path. Let's call this one SOAP to REST. We specify the policy that we have just created. OK. Yeah, and we save this out. As the final step, we're going to deploy this one to an API gateway, which is also running on my local machine. So localhost, we type the default password. This should uh, take a second to publish. Here we go. And now if I open my browser again and just request this URL, you'll see that in fact, voila, we have a JSON object. And of course, you could use uh, 
uh, JPath queries and expressions to strip that even more down to uh, an even more consumable object. Thanks for watching.